Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how to connect MongoDB database to an Express server. So let's get started. The very first thing you gotta do is npm init, which is creating a JSON file. And we're saying yes to everything that it will ask. And let's install some module npm install. Let's install Express Mongo's and Nordborn. It will take some seconds. Okay, it's installing. Okay, the installation is done. Now let's create a file name index.js. Yes. Here we need to import Express Mongo's. Um, we are just giving everything the express function to the app and say app.listen and it will listen in the port 4000 and just give a callback function saying print something when it run when it listen I'll just say listening on port 4000 and if you run this nodmon index.js listening on port 4000 so now another thing is the mongos that we have imported first to use the mongos you need to go to mongodb.com and where you get this interface first and you need to sign in account I already have an account so I can log in but if you don't have you can use Google or github too I'm just gonna yeah now it's it just takes me to the new thing and here in deployment database build a database click in there and there are some very cheap services provided but I'll just go with the free uh, you can try that also in region you can select any server you need you know any region you want in here cluster name you can write anything i just let it default and free create here now create a username and password this is important you need to remember this let's say pass i'll just say pass admin and pass I've just created it and here we go admin and pass and come little down and here uh, IP address description you just can write add my this IP address is already me just remove the whole IP address if there is yeah now it's connected finish and close um, yeah go to the database we are directly going to the database now when you click that you'll move to this thing cluster has been created just wait a couple of minutes mm. yes it's active it will just show this sign green sign now just click connect connect your application and this will give you the URL just copy it so bring here and say const url and just paste it paste it and here if you can see the username and password in pass we have written pass and in username we have written admin so now we have imported the url but now we need to test whether the database is connected or not so this is the main part let's create a async function which we will call to connect function let's say connect and we'll just try this url so we have imported already imported mongoos so say mongoos dot connect and what we need to connect is url if this is connected then we will show console.log 
connected and if not then we'll catch an error and we'll print that error instead okay this is it and now it doesn't show because we have not called connect yet let's call the function connect oh wait a minute this is async function so we have to write await look at this here it says connected now because everything is right but what if we you know type a different password it will give us a big big error this is the error and we don't want it so just make sure that you have in you know inserted right password and admin you can do you know if this thing is correct then only you need to run the server listen to the server yes now i hope everything goes well this is for today and next time we will talk about routes and creating a database and other stuff